All right, everyone. Thanks so much for listening to another, another, another episode of Full Body Cast Presents Garage Night. Garage Night brought to you by Cole Street Brewery, 1627 Cole Street, Enumclaw, Washington. Put it in your uh, GPS and get on down there. Also, go hit up Bordeaux Wine Bar. Check in online, Full Body Cast. See if they give you something. They probably won't. Then go to Mazelon, Enumclaw. Say hi to Andy. Kiss him on the lips and see what happens. Go to O Chef Country Kitchen as well, TP the truck, and don't do that actually. But what's the address on that? Just so we can kind of get some people to put the put the pins in. That's uh thirteen twenty four Roosevelt Avenue East, Enumclaw, Washington, nine eight zero two two. I will not remember that, but thirteen twenty four <laughs> Roosevelt East Avenue East. Avenue East. <laughs> right behind you, the outpost. Right Avenue. behind the out what? Right behind the outpost. The outpost in the claw parking lot. Uh, there's also you also see a uh, what's the what's the coffee stand there called? Outpost. Oh, the outpost. Oh, what's he only said it twice. Then, <laughs> well, then, I was thinking that that forest thing across the street was called the outpost. Or oh whatever. no no that's that's the uh, the fire fire the like forest fire wildfire uh, dispatch. Okay. Kind of like and the pickle factory. Well, no. no, the one yes, the pickle factory that's been torn down. No, that's behind. That's behind me at the the. That in that that's hotel. what you call the pickle factory. Yeah, the hotel there. You can get it. You can get an hour. Kings. Rate. Oh, Kings. That's where it's at. The King Pickle. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm sure they can get like a sponsorship where the throat goat stays free. At the Kings. Yeah. I guarantee you, yeah. you could go in there and stay for free. I'm down. I'm down for Isn't that. Isn't it the Midway? Mid. Mid. Midway in. Uh, I don't know what. I don't. That's what it's, she said. it's definitely mid. Um. <laughs> <laughs> of course, what a stupid good joke. We got Craig Bentley on the mic. Yep, I'm here again. You want to say it in the mic this time? Yep, I'm here again. Can you say it a little higher? You yep, got, I'm here again. You literally have the mic pointed at your forehead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got Corey on the mic. What? <laughs> huh? Are we doing that? Hey, hey, he's here again also. Yeah, we got I'm Corey. Here. And then we've got Dan, the ice cream man, Coots Snyder. Oh, he's sugar daddy. The Coots Snyder. Find him at uh, O Chef Country Kitchen. And then what's the sweet? What's the? What's your? I, I forgot. Mount Peak. Mount, Mount Peak Sweet Treats. Nice. Mount Peak Sweet Treats. Proud sponsor of Cruisingum Claw and the Junior Rodeo. Nice. Uh, and also a, a supporter of Full Buddy Cast. We thank him. Uh, oh, yeah. Go go check it out. Uh, we've got the the T the T. <laughs> I still haven't gotten my photos. The T quesadilla. Oh, we got shirts over here. We'll see what one you can fit over. It's right in here. What kind of yeah, photo? Did he one? promise photos what of kind all of photos? Us? Did he promise? Yeah, <laughs> like like shirtless or what is he promising? The ones that I have. I think it was like <laughs> golfing golfing pictures, kind of like the one where he's like never forget, never forget, always remember. But mine is always mine, mine is always never remember always forget because they're so bad uh, and stupid and it's a dumb thing for me to say and I enjoy it. Uh, I like sharing that picture. I think Thank that you. you should send him the picture we took and then out front and then that picture gets posted into the truck. Oh yeah, you guys are doing like a golf. He said it was a golf like sword fight. I have no clue what you're talking about. Something and anything we've did with golf, he's probably not in the picture. <laughs> It's that's that's true, and the one that, the one picture that I did post from Full Body Cast, uh, I got in trouble for, and did damage to. Uh, well, you just I, forgot to put a smiley face on it. I know it's supposed to be. Uh, well, I was told it's all good. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, but you know, dude, photo, I can't wait. Photos to go, never lie. I cannot wait to go back to Vegas, going there in June, baby. Why? No, I was going to ask. Are you, you skipping May? Yeah, skipping whoa, May. Whoa, whoa. I, I know. Go to June and July. Every time you go to Vegas, I get excited. Why is that? Because it's one step closer of me winning the bet that you shit your pants. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I've gotten close. Yeah. Close. You've never done that? Well, not recently. Dan, I I did it one time. I had a 1966 Volkswagen Bug, and I, <laughs> I yeah, couldn't make just it stuck home. in traffic. <laughs> How old were you? I don't know, 30. I mean, see, now I was 40, yeah. but uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was bad. Yeah. Bad. Yeah. Like, did you sell the bug afterwards? 
<laughs> it, was a, it was almost like I had a diaper on, but it was just shorts. <laughs> yeah, this is for ever stained. It's rough. Uh, Dan, I was going to ask you this. Everyone was like, hey, I, wanna, I can't wait to own my own business one day. You know, they made it think that because then they could think, I can work my own, I can be my own boss, I can work my own hours. But when it's all said and done, um, your pro, I have a few friends that own their own businesses. They're like, yeah, I'm making like half and then below minimum wage if you look at my hours I put into everything and what I'm actually getting making out of it. Are you in that? I mean, is it? I know. I know you're gonna make your own schedule, but you're having. You're just not in that truck the entire time. You're shopping. You're prepping. You're driving. Um, are you? Are you at that point where you're like, yeah, I'm just making what everyone else is making, even though I'm working forty times harder than everyone else. <laughs> Uh, I would be happy to say that I was making less than minimum wage, but I'd probably go <laughs> even less than that. <laughs> so when do you go on vacation? What do you like? Like when do you get out and get to go do your own thing, or do you well, not? I, I closed the I closed the food truck down last Saturday, and we went to the the ocean. That's right. You got the sugar daddy hats. The yeah. what did you call them? What you you had a sweet? What was it that he had the nickname for them? I saw the sugar daddy. Yeah, yeah, but you ha- you had a nickname for all the hats you had. The sweet treats hat. The sweet oh, treats right. hats. Yeah. Yeah. The the blow pop, charms. Yeah, from charms. The what? Tootsie rolls. And the sugar daddy. His vacation is getting out of the one truck and going to the other one. Yeah, you, you know what's sad though is I I showed the barista. Um, yeah. At, at the coffee stand, one of uh-huh. the, one coffee stand in town, <laughs> and she goes, "Oh, sugar daddy, like those guys who buy feet picks." And I was like, oh, "No, the candy, <laughs> dude." <laughs> Does she have? Uh, I don't know. An only dance. <laughs> <laughs> you guys could have shared each other's onlys. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was that was a great laugh, my dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I tell you what. I need some TV for my bunghole. <laughs> now this is sounding more and more like the men's room. <laughs> yeah. yeah, thank you for that. Uh, so we've got. I've got questions for. For Dan, we went a little deep with him last, so I won't do that again. Because afterwards, Dan's like, he actually, I turned it off, and he's like, "What the f- was that all about?" He bruised my cervix. Yes, I did. Uh, so we're gonna do some rapid fire. We're gonna ask you some questions that uh, hopefully, and then we'll ask Craig and Corey as well. Uh, but what I want to know: Why does that dinosaur have ginormous nuts and is stuffed, so this was stuffed into a bottle? So this was made by a 3D printer and given to me by my, my <coughs> Mark Herbert Schmidt. He thought it'd be so funny. To, it was his creation. It's a it, oh my god! It's a it's dino a dog. <laughs> Is that why you got the throat goat? No, but <laughs> but what's he eating? Horny goat. We <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> my son. He's way past that level. That's going to be edited. Be off. No, no, it'll, it'll be here. I. I told the story before, and I'll tell it again, but my son, who was probably about 13, was out here doing homework on the computer, and this is before the dyno, but I did, but someone did send me the horny goat weed uh, bottle. Uh, there was a random listener. I think we're talking about it with, with Joey on, on the Holl- uh, Holland with Hollenbeck, but, uh, but, but like my son came like to me, and he's like, hey, uh, Dad, can we, can we talk? And I'm like, yeah, sure. What's up, bud? And he's like, I saw it was in the podcast room, and um, I'm just a little worried about you. <laughs> and I'm like, what? And he's like, I saw the horny goat weed. And in my mind, I realized he's a 13-year-old that sees <laughs> horny. <laughs> he sees goat, and he sees weed. And so he's he's probably thinking I'm just like crushing these pills up, just snorting them, and then just going to town wherever I wanted to go. Well, you did tell him like the week before you were getting a goat. <laughs> so so anyway uh it was very very awkward very weird uh to have that conversation with my son i said no but anyway back to you let's go rapid fire favorites uh and i want to hit you with the favorites who is that guy please don't say that's me that's the owner of the dusty shelf he looks just like the dude on the baseball doesn't he <laughs> Dude, who's the dude like Edgar Martinez? Oh, that one right there. Oh, Lou Pinella. I see Lou Pinella. Yeah, he owns uh the Dusty Shelf. He bought the bookstore. Oh, downtown, like down Drink the street. Josh. Yeah. 
Yeah, and they were doing chess club. They had chess club uh, yeah, yeah. the other day, uh, which is pretty cool. All right, back to you. You were down your there, weren't you? Favorite ice cream. What's your favorite ice cream that you sell? All of them. Okay, yes, we get that. But what is your favorite one? Red, white, and blue bomb pop cup. Oh, okay. <laughs> we got it. It's 12 ounces. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right. We uh, all right. All bomb. Oh, definitely, definitely not the one on the stick. The one in the cup. <laughs> no, because it's twelve ounces. Where the one on the the sticks four and a half ounces, or the cups twelve ounces. Actually, the other day I ate three of them. Did you feel hot? Did you feel like the sugar rush? Just no, no. That's only two hundred calories a thing. That's it. Uh, I'd feel like that was just pumping through my veins. Craig, favorite thing from the favorite ice cream thing? truck. From the ice, from the ice cream truck, well, he's happy. the ice cream man. <laughs> I, 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 I love, I love that he has blue lips, like a five year old. What's, what, what did you just oh. have? Oh man, <laughs> I had Sonic. Did you, have, did you swallow the gum? Yeah. No, I get... swallowed it whole. Okay. <laughs> Corey, he's got well, blue I've lips had, too. I've had Sonic, and yeah. I've had powder, powder, powder. Oh, that's right. I Powerpuff forgot. Powerpuff Girls? I sent a Powerpuff Girl Power. to, uh, and, to uh, him on a DoorDash. <laughs> <laughs> they were both pretty good. Both had gumballs. Uh, but I'll go with Sonic because that was, that was delicious. Yeah, it's blue raspberry and yeah. cherry. What? Uh, and then uh, how, how often do you get asked about the Choco Taco? <sighs> oh. Well, let's see. If I, if I, if I got a dollar for every time, I'd be a rich guy retired in the Cancun somewhere. Have you thought about just creating the Choco Taco yourself? Yeah, I haven't found the, the recipe for that. The right, the right recipe. What's uh? Did you have some dessert shells you could use that I saw. They were cinnamon toast crunch dessert shells. You can make something with that. Oh, <laughs> put something. In Maybe there. I'll put that in the Bentley burrito. Oh yeah, oh. dessert. <laughs> Do you have a dessert? It's like sweet and savory. <laughs> you have cookies, right? You have cookies. Yeah, just the cookies. Yeah. And then you have so many different oh, flavors of soda chi- pop. Yeah, and then the Chico sticks. I got the Chico sticks. What's that? Me. What's the Chico stick? It's like wafers? No, the Chico stick is like a. It's a stick, but it, it's it's the predecessor to butter. Chico. Finger. Right, well, hold on. Oh, okay. Hold on. <laughs> it's like the inside we were, of a we, butter finger. We understood the coconut. stick part. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course you did. You're the throat goat. <laughs> I mean, you're like the master of it. <laughs> the master of sticks. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to tell you about... What's a Chico stick? Well, wrap your head around this... But okay. It's, it's like That's the, actually... It's, 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 very... it's like the inside of a Butterfinger, but it's a but stick. But on a stick. Uh, dude, but, I love the Butterfinger. Yeah. The inside? Yeah. 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 It's, it, it's, it's the it makes snack. your teeth hurt. Yeah, it does. And you can have a snack later because you're picking it out the rest of the day. You're still having... All... You're not, not a Butterfinger guy? No. What are you? Candy yeah. bars, let's go. Candy bars, go. Oh, candy bars? Easily Mike and Ike's or hot tamales. The hot th- oh okay. Mike That's and Ike's it. or hot tamales. I don't do ch- I don't do I don't like chocolate candy bars Ch- that Boo. much. Boo. Maybe some Skittles. Easily hundred percent Reese's fast break. Oh, okay. Do you have those at do you ever have those uh, yes. every day? Or not like every day. But like when you're wanting a little when I want a little sweetness. Yeah. And he's not around. Oh, okay. <laughs> Mine, my favorite. Yeah, favorite. Bar. Bar. Would be the big hunk. Ooh, named after you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do you still get royalties for that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't think you're doing as bad as you said, all these royalties I keep hearing about. Yeah, you got a lot of your royalties. <laughs> for someone who's wearing a sugar daddy hat. But does, uh, so big hunk. Uh, I like it. Is yeah. that like the Charleston Chew type of thing? It's like a ch- big chew bar? Yeah, the white one with the. With the nuts. Charleston Chews are good, too. Yeah. Charleston Chews. Yep. Mm. Vanilla, strawberry, chocolate. Yeah, throw them in the freezer. No. Oh, yeah. Uh, That's exactly what I say when I do it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can I get a whole? Bow, yeah. Bow. <laughs> uh, I like the M&M's. Just the, give me M&M's. M&M's all day. Oh, you, were, you weren't going to go with the Ken Griffey? The peanut ones? What bar? Was just plain M&M's? The Ken Griffey bar. I forgot about the Ken Griffey Jr. bar. Is it like a crackle bar? I do like Reese's. Pieces no, you know, too. crackle bars are the worst. But that's what that bar was. Yeah, it, it was. It was. But it, it, those are the when you when you went to or the crunch. It was a crunch, crunch bar. bars. Yeah. Absolutely the worst. Yeah. Oh, that's the ones with the rice krispies. In there. Yeah. yeah, the worst. No, they still no. make those. I, don't, I haven't seen those in a while. No, 
I think the worst one is those Neapolitan bars that are like coconut. Yeah, but I think you get older. You, I mean, when I was a kid, you got a freaking milk chocolate. Like, give me dark. I'll do dark chocolate, but milk chocolate with the Krispies. Ugh. I eat it all day. I'll make a s'more out of that mofo. Okay, s'more. I'm okay with. Yeah, make that make it. A, yeah, I was get one baby of those big jumbo. Oh, baby Ruth. Oh, baby. baby Ruth was good. Ruth. I'm Payday. about to go to the store and get me a baby yeah. Ruth and a Payday. Baby Ruth ice cream. Yeah, Sell, sells itself. Those paydays, nice and salty and so yes, caramel coated mm-hmm. nuts. Yes, yeah, nuts and salty. I love paydays. <laughs> yeah. uh, on a stick. <laughs> <laughs> on a stick. <laughs> uh, Pepsi or Coke? Coke, hundred percent Coke. Uh, I'm Pepsi. Yeah, I would say Pepsi. Coke, ninety nine point nine percent of the time, but I do prefer Pepsi if I'm barbecuing. Pepsi for you in the backyard. Interest, yeah, why is that? Yeah. I don't know. Just a little so sweeter. A little, so you, if it's ninety nine percent, you never barbecue. That's, <laughs> that's, is that what I'm, is that what I'm getting? <laughs> Have you seen how expensive steaks are to barbecue? My God, it's once a year, <laughs> one Pepsi a year. <laughs> uh, beer or hard alcohol? Do you drink? I actually? don't drink. Did you used to drink and you quit? Yes. Okay. Well, then we won't ask that question. Heroin or <laughs> I never Mess. quit that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so then, uh, let's see. We're going back to chips. You're on the chip aisle. What's your What's your go to? Juanitas. Okay. Juanitas. They're delicious. I'm mm. a Sun Chips dude, so sun I'm, chips I'm going. I'm going Sun Chips. They got rid of my favorite flavor though. So what did they like, get rid of? It was uh, Harvest Cheddar, or no? It was a weird one that nobody liked. It was like a purple. Yeah, the purple, purple one. Bag. It was like a seasonal one. Yeah, yeah. It was that was good. Yeah, it's like something lime. It was like uh, it's like a little spicy. It was like a harvest. No, there was a different harvest flavor too. There was two seasonal ones, and I got rid of both of them. I think mm. maybe I should get some Fritos and do a walking taco. Call out a Travis Kenny. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Craig likes these. And he jokes at my expense. Craig's like, that's a good one. He, <laughs> Serve them up even more. I know what he's doing. He's, he's like, I'd take this one off. I'd just yeah, sit I, here and just, <laughs> just listening. <laughs> I just, I'm just here. Have a good time. <laughs> and hey, usually I don't. Can I, can I, can I, can I request another uh, joke at Travis's expense from uh, Dan, please? Uh, what about, what's yours? What's your go-to chip, uh, chip aisle? Man, sun chips are good, but I'm probably going Tim's Cascade. Tim's little, Cascade. Little Maui. Maui. Those, those are good too. Uh, no jalapeno. Uh, every once in a while. I feel like I feel like when it's jalapeno chips, you go to Tim's Cascade is the go-to. Uh, you like a honey Dijon chip as well. You ever had the like the Tim's or the what's the other brand the that are harder chips? They have a honey mustard. I forget the name of it. Uh, Boulder the, maybe the kettle 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 yeah. cooked or whatever. Kettle, yeah, Lay's kettle cooked. Um. All right, you're walking down the uh, – you're, you're in the fruit area. A terrible section to be in. Of the produce section. You're in the fruit you're, area you're probably looking for, for a Maui, fresh fruit. Probably looking for Maui Maui. What's your go-to? The Mahi uh, Mahi fruit. I'm going pink lady apple. Pink lady apple. Mahi Mahi fruit. Mahi Mahi. I've never had Mahi Mahi. What is it? It's a fishy fruit. <laughs> Free the mahi mahi! Oh God! Free the mahi mahi! <laughs> He's actually done this joke to me before as well. I think he messaged it to me, and he knew. Oh yeah! And then I sent it to freaking Craig. Craig's like, "You don't know what this movie's from? It uh, it, it had uh, come on, Polly Shore. Yeah, not Tank Girl. Uh, Tank Biodome. Girl. Biodome. Tank Purple Girl. Sticky Punch. Buddy. <laughs> He's got me at that on. He's gotten that on twice. You got me uh, on that twice. Did you go through Polly Shore's uh, IMB to get all those movies? No, but he did you see the one with Richard Simmons that he's putting out. He's getting Rich- sued by Richard Simmons. Yeah, he was upset about it because he's, he's the yeah. He loves him. Richard Simmons. Do you know who you guys missed like a month ago? Travis Richard was at Simmons? the uh, no. Oh, Travis gosh. was at the. Uh, oh, we're going next time. We're gonna mute the chalet. We're gonna mute Dan for the rest of the. Go ahead, Craig. Go ahead and laugh at that. I'm good. Hey, the plan is next time we're going. I thought. Do they bring in some good? I'm not going. You said you would go with me, but you were going to yell. No, I'm not doing it now. You could, you know, I heard the chalet is for sale. You should buy it. Is and it for sale, really? Yeah, that's what and I you heard. can ban him, and then you can ban <laughs> him from being somebody there. else oh. listening to the show. Probably already bought it. Thomas, <laughs> <laughs> he only owns fifty businesses already. Dude, who's, Tom- who's, who's the kingpin of Enum Claw? 
<laughs> Does Dude. the ice cream mafia have to talk to him and like work out like a deal? Yeah, <laughs> where he doesn't break your legs. <laughs> <laughs> where he doesn't go buy his own fleet of ice cream trucks. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I'm going back to Eastern Washington. <laughs> I hear this ice cream business is lucrative. <laughs> <laughs> I like ice cream. <laughs> I have a truck. <laughs> um, Damn it, Bobby! <laughs> how much? How much is that diesel or is that gas? Gas. And then how much gas does that freaking thing take to keep keep refrigeration going? And like, because I know what AC it takes. Uh, if I drive to Bonnie Lake and back twice, it takes five gallons of fuel. But it's usually about five gallons for a half a day. Okay, around. that's not too bad. That's store da- that's store dash money. So about five gallons for here. Yeah, probably. <laughs> it's, well, it's been running since uh, twelve o'clock, so yeah. Where do you get off? In the truck, my wife. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? My wife. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Pro- maybe in the truck too. I don't know. Is it that throat go? <laughs> that's disgusting. I didn't mean like that. I was okay. Like, There's a lot of sayings that I'm realizing are pretty. Yeah, you can take it anywhere with that. With a lot of, if you, even that double meanings. <laughs> There's so many double meanings right now. It's terrible. Um, Why is Travis turning red right now? Because he's thinking about it. I'm thinking, dude. I, you know, I'm not. It's Thursday. Ooh, it, it is, is thir- Thursday. It is Thursday. Jamie hates this. Hates that as well because she's like, I've. Ru- <laughs> was that trespassers will be shot from here? Like on the. Fence? Yeah. No. No. It was over. Uh, it's over by, heading towards Black Diamond. Not the one. Not by the one Safeway. across by Safeway. Might be by, owned by the same people. <laughs> but yeah, it was. It was. Uh, it was a whole whole ordeal with that one. Holy moly! You should get a sign like that for the for the podcast room. <laughs> I think Craig would use it as a reason not to come in. Yes. <laughs> like, oh, I can't go. <laughs> he said, "I'm the one who's gonna be doing the shooting." <laughs> <laughs> it looks like Travis is trespassing on his own property. <laughs> <coughs> So, Dan, other than your businesses and your family, what other hobbies or interests do you have? Are you a reader? Do you enjoy video games, sports? Like, what is what is it that you like to unwind and be a part of? Work. It's just all work? No play. But is there any play? <laughs> oh no actually i know the answer to this because one day oh. i went over there and, he, and he pulled his phone out oh the oh the i jet pulled game? his phone out not was my it, phone out the jet game yes yeah i saw that too yeah so let's talk about this jet game dan you have to because t- you were impressive with it you knew <laughs> everything about it like oh this guy's gonna like you, how long have you been playing it and how much money have you thrown at it? We will not say how much money I've thrown at it, but I've been playing it for over two years. It's the only reason it's still around is because you've been throwing money at it. <laughs> <laughs> I think you had a podcast about this a little while ago. Did are I you, talk about you, this? Are you playing the football game again? Dude, I brought it back, yeah. <laughs> how much have you spent on it now? Here's the craziest thing. Thank you, Dan, for completely knowing that you can change the subject and I would, I'll run with this, but I, I've been watching that sketch, dude, like do some Madden. And then I'm like, well, I'm going to play my cousin. I usually play PUBG with, he, he was, he was, uh, at, uh, away for a few, like a weekend. So I re downloaded the Madden. They had the, they have the ultimate team where you buy the packs with the players and they have team chemistry. Meaning if, if they're on the same team and you have enough of them, then they will play better. So you could get like a Richard Sherman that's in a in a Niners jersey, and you can change it to a Seahawks jersey because he used to be on the team. You don't want to talk about this anymore? What? You don't want to hear about this anymore? Oh, uh, we're just we're doing our own thing. <laughs> they, were, they were imagining you. I that spent piece, that wig like downtown. sixty dollars on it immediately, and it was the day. 24 hours of Russell Wilson to be in uh, as a limited release. You could make him a Seahawk, and he was ranked 99, and I, w- I pulled him out of that $60. So, yes, I spent money on it, not a lot of money on it, just enough money on it, and I got the Russell Wilson. I was thrilled, and, and I haven't played it since. I think you might have spent more. No. Because you didn't go to Vegas in May, and that's probably why. That's probably, yes, that's <laughs> exactly why. Did he go down why. for his mom's birthday this month? 
I went in April. Was that in April? That was in April. I know. Uh, believe me, Sheesh. I think about it all the time. Of why you haven't gone in May? Yes. Yeah. Probably should just make sure you, next weekend just the flight just to go down there. Just I've looked. Yeah. Guys, guys, I do this daily. I look at flights daily. I think, how can I do this? How can I make this a 24-hour trip? I do, guys, I do this all the time. What's that can say right there? Revision? Oh, Vegas AF. <laughs> that was at Thomason. No, it's not. I can't say this again. It's at Edison City Ale House in Tacoma. It's not Thomas Edison Sale House. <laughs> it's, it's the Edison City Ale House. Thank you. Uh, shout out to them. But yeah, got that there. Um, all right, let's get back to it. We were talking about you and this Jet game. You've been playing it for a few years. Yeah. You're uh, you're how many? How much do you actually play it per day? A couple times. It depends. Are Sometimes you, I get burned out and I stop playing for a couple days. Are you a Wordle guy? Are you a Octordal guy? I don't know what that means. Are you mini crossword from New York no. Times? No. Any you guys? What's no. Octordal? No. Octordal is eight are. wordles a day that are in like where if you guess one and it, and then it gives you a score. So if you go up against other people, it's oh. pretty Want me to invite you to one? No, I'm good. Okay. Um <laughs> you can invite me. Really? Yeah, I'm not that? gonna answer. But okay. Does that have meaning? What does that mean? Yeah, let's talk tattoos. This is a good audio podcast. What does that one mean? <laughs> which one? <laughs> what does your tattoo mean? What, what, which one? How many you know that one. How many tattoos do you have? I have a, oh, you have right. a lot. <laughs> See, you're sitting right next to him. There's like three well, right in front I saw of you. the top one. Yeah, these guys that are listening oh, to angel. this episode have Look. zero clue what you're talking about. I was trying to get him to describe it once he told me what it was. It's an angel. Look at it's got wings and it flaps on my arm. Oh yeah, it does. He flexes. <laughs> you guys are missing. And this one. You guys are missing this too bad it's not visual. This one this one, this one laughs. Ha ha ha. That one that one was a, a laughing fish. That one was a fish. Yeah. That's an interesting way of getting that thing to move too. <laughs> I spent a lot of time alone. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I should do? <laughs> that's 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 too. <laughs> That tattoo's actually gotten bigger since he got it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know how I could make, make this flowing. move a little bit? I should make that a fish that laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> it's just from the tattoo. So what was? How old were you for your first tattoo? Oh, I don't know. Were you one of the kids that would give you your own? Like, like where? My, I had, I, we had friends like that in high school. Yeah, like they give a little cross or something like that. I call them asshole attractors. What's the? What is? The, <laughs> what, what, I gotta be honest. I don't even I've understand never, what that means. I've never heard that either, so you have to explain that one. Well, asshole goes, "What is that?" Oh, yeah. I thought you just like assholes, and somehow they liked because it's a dot, and they just ask. No, I think, uh, yeah, yeah. No, that's unlike that's, people. That's who, the un- discussion board gazette. Unlike people who Thank just you. look at your tattoo and go, "What is that?" <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you yeah. basically did the same thing. Yeah. yeah. God, now I feel like an asshole. <laughs> yeah. Well, pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys have? To, you have a tattoo, Corey? No. Do you have a tattoo, Craig? Yeah, I got two of them. Wait, we've talked about his. Yeah. It's on. The, it's on your. Uh, I have my family calf. crest on one arm, and I have the oh. kids' birth stuff on my other arm. Nice. I have a family crest on actually and it's just it's different than his and we're confused about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a tube of toothpaste that says crest. <laughs> it's a gender thing. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I got a hundred dollar bill on my wiener that goes from a dollar to a hundred. <laughs> Is that an asshole attractor too? <laughs> <laughs> Depends on the asshole. <laughs> sometimes, it, sometimes it stays a dollar. <laughs> it's like I need to get to a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> it goes negative. That, <laughs> that, totally. That's the comment. Uh, only a hundred dollars. This goes from a dollar to five bucks pretty quick. <laughs> well, twenty years ago, a hundred dollars would get you a lot. Now, damn, damn you economy! Even, you can't even yeah. eat at Oak Chef Country Kitchen for hundred. Talk bucks. about inflation. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes there's inflation involved and deflation as well. <laughs> uh, what were we talking about besides that? <laughs> What's your favorite sport? None. Do you watch anything? No. Nope. Did you play anything? Jet fighting. I played football. What? What? Were, can I guess what you were? Sure. I feel like you were a tight end. I was a tight end. Nailed it. I'm still a tight end. <laughs> <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> a tractor. <laughs> what? Uh, what? Where did you play? What did you play? Or you played tight end, but what? But where? 
Robertson Re- Junior High. Was it oh junior high middle school stuff? Yeah. Um and then no other did you even like watching it or, or? They don't have a GED football team, Charles. <clears throat> I did play flag football in college. Did, did you, you? At Central? At Central, yeah. yeah. And my buddy who passed away, uh, unfortunately. Uh he was a kicker for the Jets. And then he got he got cut. Wait a minute. Come on, Joey? Yeah. Whoa. Joe Smith? Whoa. Whoa. Okay. I, that was my roommate at Central. No. This is a we small. High school with we, we worked together at the Starlight what Lounge. A, yes. I. Oh, what a small wow. world. I'm, I'm backing out of this. You guys take <laughs> it I graduated here. with his brother. So Tova lives in Tahale yes. in Bonnie Lake. Yep. Yeah. I haven't seen her for a little bit, but I've seen the kids and stuff. Yeah. They're so growing so remember fast. Remember I it's told crazy. you I went there for a week when we were talking about Central before? Okay. One was, that was his brother, me and Brian. Went to see them because they were roommates, and we oh. stayed with them for a week over at Central. Nice, yeah. We worked together at the at the uh, Starlight. I didn't go to the funeral because I don't do funerals. I don't like it. I don't like death. <laughs> yeah, no, he was. Uh, yeah, like I said, we we uh, went to school together, and then we went over there together. He was actually supposed to be in my wedding, and then uh, he was at the wedding but wasn't in it. Oh, so uh, but yeah, no. It was, yeah, we played flag football together. We worked together for a long time. A long, know. like, bef- yeah. A few years? Yeah. So so you're telling me that you might have had a, I'm not going to say it on air. <laughs> we can talk about this off the air. There's, yeah, there's a lot of stuff you probably don't want to talk about on air. <laughs> Dude, that's crazy that that just happened. How crazy is that? So, uh, Small town. So you guys worked at the Starline? Starlight. 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 Is that was that a hotel? It's a martini bar. Martini bar. And what were what were both of you guys' positions? Like, what did you? Uh, I worked as a bouncer. Okay. And as a a bouncer and a cook. A bouncer and a cook. And then what was his position? He was a bar manager. Well, he was a bar bartender and a barman, and then the bar manager. So he was he would was he your boss then? Kinda. At yeah. times. When I was a bouncer. Okay. What what was the craziest? Give me a bouncer story. <laughs> What's your best bounce? Ba- just give me your best bouncer story. Oh man! Uh, one time we kicked a guy out. We picked him up over our shoulders and used his head to ram into the door <laughs> and to then, open the door for yeah. you. And then we chuck <laughs> and we chucked him into the street. <laughs> <laughs> and then it semi hit him. <laughs> <laughs> was that great? No, that's so. Then did he ever come back? He doesn't remember it no. happened. He was probably just hammered out of his mind. <laughs> no, that guy doesn't. Yeah. He doesn't know what happened. No. no. Yeah. Dude, he smashed his no. head against the door. There's definitely there's <laughs> no way he remembers that. Unless he's, he's one of our six listeners. <laughs> <laughs> and now he knows who did it. He's <laughs> like, oh, shit. Sm- this is small world again. <laughs> I'm not as swole as I used to be. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Dang it. Uh, how, long, how long did you do the bouncer uh, spot? Was I that probably did that for like five years. Five years? Was like, that a weekend thing? or Yeah, nights and weekends. Did uh did you have to ever have to kick the same person out like all the time? Yeah. And when you saw them walk in, were you like, "Get out of here," or were you like, "Well, because usually we're post up at the door and like, hey, what are you doing here? Get out of here, scram, and go then down, go down to three uh three oh one or would they try and sneak in still and all that? Mm-hmm. I've, I've changed my ways, dude. Let yeah. me. The worst part is like people would have fake IDs, like good fake IDs. And then they'd come in and be like, "Oh yeah, we've been tricking you. It's our it's our real twenty first birthday." I'm like, "You sure. suckers!" <laughs> Did you ever uh, fail any uh, the the stings that they had? No. Ever? Did they ever no. go out to eat? They're like, "We don't care about that." One. No, because we checked all the IDs, but they'd try and catch us just like anyone. They make else. it pretty obvious though. Kinda. <laughs> Every time I've been checked, it's like it was like a thirteen year old, and like you could tell. <laughs> yeah. Like, it was pretty obvious. Yeah. They weren't trying to trick me. That was a crazy job. Then I actually, uh, I met my wife doing that job. Kicked she, her out a few times? No. <laughs> no, but like. Get out of here. Why do you keep coming Well, we started. Because ha- you're so hot. No, when we started hanging out. I lifted out, her up w- and swept her away. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but she is only five foot and I'm six three. <laughs> I met her the other day. She's cool. Uh, she was only 20 when we met. And I assumed that she was 21. So she never got carded at the bars. Really? And then I figured it out later. I was like, oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> we did a New Year's Eve down in, at, the, at the bars, and we went all, we went, I took her to all the bars because her birthday is in January, but I was like, nobody's going to card you. You're with me. I work at the Starlight. Everyone knows who I am, all the other bouncers. We, we were down at the uh, 
It's 301. Do you remember the name of that crap hole bar at the end of the street? Oh, that was a while ago. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I was in there. I had a half gallon of Sky Vodka in my pocket. <laughs> we were partying it up. Really? <laughs> Down New Year's. That was probably 2006. And then you guys started like dating after that day right after, after that. that night yeah and then uh it what became, how, a, it became official you how, know how that whole awkward uh, oh are we dating are we not dating <laughs> i how really long, like you you really like me how long did it uh how long till you guys got married oh a few years i think my daughter was three two two when we got married we got married in wenatchee speaking of wenatchee you were talking about yeah wenatchee. Sh- shout out wenatchee yeah east wenatchee omi gardens woo woo what what <laughs> Do you miss? Do you is, so? How? Yeah. So how come you don't go over the east side as much anymore? Then are you kind of over Eastern Washington? <laughs> uh, most of my friends from Eastern Washington have passed away. Really? Yeah. So Joey, the Starlight, uh, our boss from the Starlight passed away. Um, Doris Morgan, she's the owner. She passed away. So no, Starlight doesn't even exist anymore. Uh, my buddy, who I was talking to with the taco truck, he passed away two years ago. Last year, the owner of Ellensburg Pasta Company passed away. Dude, you're in Final Destination I'm 4 saying, right now. Something's, <laughs> hey, something's coming for him. I, I swear I'm not affiliated with uh, Hillary. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dan, it's been a good time, man. But I think you need to get out of here. Uh, <laughs> no, I'd like to hear some more stories. Hey, what, what happened to Travis? This has been full I've been, buddy. I've been, <laughs> Craig's like, could you sit a little closer to Travis? <laughs> Did you say it's a full body cast? It's oh, gonna be. Yeah. Yeah, that's the nick that's the name. That's the that's where I got the name from. What kind of a tractor is that? <laughs> Friends. <laughs> How many of us have them? Uh Friends. <laughs> Ones we can depend on. Let's be friends. Is this TLC? What is this? That was pretty good rapping. That was way better than yeah. I've that's ever an heard actual Chad do song. Yeah, it is an actual song. I don't know, but it still sounded. Ridiculous. But what about your friends? Uh, Are they gonna be around? Uh, Are they gonna let you down? And uh, I just made that up. <laughs> like I get so weak in the knees, I can hardly speak. This is what I had to deal with the whole time the other day. That's called FOMO. <laughs> is that like short for front butt? <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's exactly. We don't have any Veronica hot topics. It'd be fun to get one to ask you. How do you keep it spicy in the bedroom, Dan? Ice cream. <laughs> I would think that it would be more like Ch- uh, some type of syrup. Ooh, yeah, Dan. Wait, what? What's your favorite Dan syrup? Dan has zero syrup? clue we're talking about right now, but but <laughs> Craig Craig wants to know what your favorite bedroom syrup is. Yeah. He wants to know how you Craig asked, how do you keep it spicy? And then what with, bedroom with syrup? syrup? I'm not in joking. The bedroom. How do I keep it spicy? In yeah. the bedroom, and then what syrup Craig said what he asked, what syrup do you use? I have four kids, bro. You, you don't know. have you don't have any You don't keep it spicy. When the <laughs> <laughs> when that ice cream trucks are rocking, <laughs> <laughs> don't come a knocking. Uh, but no, seriously, how do you keep it spicy in the bedroom? I need. I'm taking notes. No kidding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't. It's been a long time. It's been a, it's been a, it's been a bit. It's been a bit. No wonder he's so f- friendly with Travis. <laughs> what are your What are your uh, kids' ages? Fifteen, twelve, ten, and five. Wow, all girls. Whoa. Oh wow, girl dad. Hashtag girl dad. Hashtag girl dad. Hashtag yeah, girl dad. Mm-hmm. It's from working at the Hashtag Starlight. girl dad. I'm sure that somebody would disagree with you. Why? Because you have a boy. <laughs> I have one. Yeah, I have one boy and three so girls. I feel like I'm still a girl dad. <laughs> nope, you're not included with them. <laughs> I'm not a hashtag not all girl dad. You're not part of the group. Okay, sorry. You guys are. So tell you us. You know who else is? Garrett. Garrett sure. Duvall. Yeah. You're in. Not Travis. <laughs> Anyone else? Jared Skelly? No, no. that's the opposite. Uh, he's got all boys? Yeah. No girls? Oh, oh wow. Uh, so, you, what, so what happened with Sid at the Bordeaux? So I talked to somebody that said that she recently moved to Ellensburg, and I'm not joking. Oh. That's all I know is that she, that she moved to Ellensburg, and she's, she's uh, working over there now. The whole time listening to the podcast, I thought Sid was a guy. <laughs> Really? <laughs> yeah. 
Sid like the, Sid Vicious, you know? Like, yeah, Sid the Science Kid. Yeah, Sid the Science Kid. <laughs> Sid the Science Kid. Uh, yeah. Did you do you know more about that than I? Like you made it look like you were like no, but I I was I just wanted to put it out there. I always thought Sid was a dude. <laughs> 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 so that's how I got there. <laughs> that's funny. My brain's crazy. Yeah, I, I've noticed that. <laughs> I have noticed that. Dan, you come up with some funny stuff, and then uh, there's other times where you're sending stuff, and I'm like, is he being serious, or is he being funny right now? <laughs> and what, and what's the answer to that normally? Being funny. You're always trying to be funny. Yeah. You're, now, wh- when did, who's your favorite comedian? Wh- like, Where do you get your funniness from? Like, Where would you say that, or was it just developed over the many years of like constantly going to different areas and having to fit in and... <laughs> Probably from listening to uh, the full buddy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You were a boring guy prior to that. I guess he went to uh, open mic and learned what not to do. Yeah. He saw some guy in like some shorts and like yeah. And he was like, <laughs> and a oh, no, it wasn't shorts. Well, what was he wearing? Swim trunks. Swim trunks. Swim trunks and still, a hoodie. I still yeah. think you guys should do impractical jokers. Like <laughs> that's the, the that's the crazy stuff that I can't tell if you're being serious or if you're being <laughs> I'm funny. Dead I serious. Think, yes. See. That's what I'm saying. Like you're, you're like, oh, usually it's it's me being funny. I don't think you're being funny on that. I think you definitely want that to happen. Yes, and it would be definitely funny. And here's the thing. Normally, I would be like, that it's not going to work. I don't want to do that. But everything Dan so far has touched has turned to gold. Like he and he has the 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 balls to go do that too. Could, I mean, could you see like Corey joking with you? <laughs> In the store, like joking with each other, and then someone's like, "What is going on here?" Or Craig too. We, we do that oh. all the time. <laughs> so you, you need to record that. I don't. <coughs> I don't know if either one of them would want me to do that with them. Though. No, because Craig. <laughs> Craig would be like, "Go up and punch that person in the face." <laughs> yeah, there's got to be ground. Yeah, Craig, Craig. Craig would try to get us arrested. <laughs> That's his whole goal. And we'd be like, "Hey, Craig, go over there and like ask ask them where the bathroom is, and that you really got to go pee." <laughs> And that'd be us like pushing the line. And practical jokers is pranks. Craig would be like cr- try to be yes. cruel to us. Yeah, Craig would literally try to get <laughs> us guys, arrested and put are, away for life. You guys are golfing, <laughs> driving in the golf cart, and he's got like some remote that stops it, and you guys break the windshield out. It yeah, stops. Yeah, we're just bleeding. He's yeah. Yeah. You know, it was so, so good. <laughs> Craig, Craig would like, actually be pretty funny. <laughs> Craig, Craig's like in 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 the probably the ice cream truck you know with, with the walkie talkie talking to us we're in a, a shop somewhere and he's like all right guys go lift up that pineapple over there we lift it up there's like a taser he's like all right you go take that now you got to go tase the, tase each other <laughs> back and forth i, I would know something was up as soon as he invited travis to go <laughs> like it's, what it's jackass 2.0 <laughs> <laughs> dude that's the funny thing is if you were to meld jackass and um impractical jokers that I wouldn't ever do, but that would be <laughs> that's gold. We could be rich. Yeah. We could. You seem like the type of guy that has a, were you the guy that would be like, This is a great idea, you guys go do it, but I'll tell you what <laughs> I'll tell you what to do. Is that what is that you? I might I might be an That's a Craig here. thing too. hundred percent. Yeah. Hey guys, we should totally do this, meaning you guys totally do it, but I want you to do it this way. <laughs> what it I'm is, is we were just trying to get consultant fees. Once oh, it works out. Oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. I gave yeah. you a great idea. Yeah. And I get a little cut. Yeah, makes yeah. sense. We could start a, sh- a live stream where people are watching live. And then I thought you had s- that. I'd probably be even less than what we got now. <laughs> <laughs> then they could suggest <laughs> joke things for people to do, for you guys to do. Put, um, put more clothes on. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I didn't even think That's of that. That's what my wife my says. Where's your head at? <laughs> Where's your head at? Where's, Where's your head? head? <laughs> Where's your head? <laughs> I think I know what Corey's doing later. <laughs> yeah, what is he doing later? Say it. <laughs> Only Probably walking dance. around the streets, <laughs> <laughs> getting people to give him. No, I'm. Shout out. I'll be wearing a different disguise walking the streets. <laughs> yeah, have you had anyone it's hit Thursday. you up yet for the O Chef country? No, I still got it. Still got it. So mm-hmm. you, if you, if you see. Corey, in the wild, he has a $15 gift card to O Chef Country Kitchen that he will give you. You have to go up to him and say, Corey, you are the throat goat. No, no. <laughs> you have to come up and say, full body Travis is the throat goat. And then I go, you're a winner. And Here's then a- we take a picture and send it to Travis. Here's another $15 on top of that for actually saying. <laughs> <laughs> so is Travis going to 
throw in on another t- 15 on top of that for saying it? No, please do not say that. You should. I just say that Travis is the vocal and rap champion. Of Throat Goat. That's Actually, fine. what I think should happen now that we're on this subject, because we have did this before and it hasn't happened, but I'd like to throw out another challenge. Oh. If somebody is doing something in their lives and the idea of Travis being a throat goat comes to them, take a picture, tag yourself, put it in full buddy, tag Travis throat goat, whatever the picture is, is what's going on. I'd like to see that competition. I'd like people to do that. Yeah, just throw Oh, it. so they're not going to win anything. It's just going to kind of no. see who can outdo the other one. Like, oh, check this one no. out. No. And it's just hashtag Travis throat goat. Pictures of Travis in the wild. Yes. Dude, the, the I get <laughs> Where he's not I, expecting it. I get those. No. No, what I get are people that look like me and to me they think it's hilarious and they can, I can kind of see it, but I hate it so much. But he's yes. talking about the comedian, which we will go to and ask him, "Are you Travis the throat goat?" and see what he <laughs> says. <laughs> and we'll see what his response is. Does that Stupid. guy have a Facebook page? We should I, go he on probably there and does. Ask he's him. a comedian. Touring comedian. Do not. <laughs> Send him. Do tra- not send him that picture. And ask him about the throat goat. Do not. Are you brothers with the throat goat, Dan? <laughs> Dan, I will tell all the stories that you couldn't share on the air. Oh, I don't know. I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm making things up. Um, all right, let's do our shout out so we can get out of here. So Craig can go back to making fun of me, and Corey can go back to making fun of me, and Dan can go. Back to making when do I make fun of you? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he doesn't have that much. That's why he's jealous. <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> Dan, get the heck out of here. Uh, all right. Shout Maybe outs. Maybelline. Oh, uh, I'm going to do a shout out to uh, all the graduating seniors this year. Nice. Yes. Uh, my daughter is one of them, so I'll just lump her in with the rest of the seniors and say, congratulations, guys. Welcome to the real world. Now get a job and we'll hire <laughs> Yeah. <in the> chef, <laughs> country kitchen. Yeah. Are you looking for work? Ever? Not for you looking for work, but are you looking for people to work for you? Yeah, people that want to cook. 18 and up, yeah. 18 and up, want to cook? Be yeah. responsible, be there early. Yeah. Any cooking uh, priority or any uh, pr- pr- previous uh, Culinary experience? Culinary experience. Yeah. Preference, but I don't, I'll just show you how to do it. Okay. So easy a monkey can do it. All right, I like that. And he's in the he's in the truck. <laughs> <laughs> Corey, have you, have you seen the monkey? Yeah. My monkey? Yeah. I've, of course, I've seen your monkey. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of question is that? <laughs> is there a hundred dollar bill on there? <laughs> it was only a dollar though. <laughs> <laughs> Corey, Corey, shout out. Uh, I will not lump her in. I will just shout out Sid by herself. Congratulations, Sid. You made it. Out of Edom Claw. <laughs> well, probably not. <laughs> she did. She might live with him until she's thirty. But you made it out of <laughs> out of high school. Good job. Who are you talking about? Oh, Craig. My niece. Who's yeah. Okay. I thought you were about the other Sid. I thought you were talking about Sid from Bordeaux Wine Bar. You know what? <laughs> then you also get a shout out, Sid, who went to Ellensburg. I don't know you, but congratulations. <laughs> did you think that she that he was talking about your daughter when he was saying Sid? No. Oh, okay. No. Were although, you thinking that? Although he did. Right. Yes. Although he did meet my daughter last Friday. And he he didn't like, know her name was Sid, though. But he was pointing right at you, so I completely <laughs> was thinking Sid from Bardot, who's now in Ellensburg. They both yeah. did. You know what? It's a double Sid shout-out. <laughs> I don't think anyone <laughs> has been double shit, Sid and shout, shout-outs. I almost said some very <laughs> weird stuff right there. Can you say that three times fast, <laughs> <No. please? laughs> Uh Dan, shout-outs, please. Your wife, say that. Say it. Your wife. I want you. To <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hi, Jamie. He just shouted out your no, wife. I, I need you. To, I need your wife. Let's this, all just give Jamie you, a you, shout you out. Yeah, you know what? I don't know why you haven't replaced him yet. Just coming here to this podcast. <laughs> we all feel sorry for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. You definitely. But da- dashing. dashing, dashing, Jamie Kenny through the snow <laughs> on a one horse open sleigh. Dan, talk to me about your like. Shout out your wife at this point. You didn't do it the first time. You shout out do- your wife. <sighs> okay. Shout out to my wife, Katrina. She's With a C. Not a K. Not a K. With a C. Nice. That's the best way to start spelling names. Is it? With a C. Yeah. I, I mean, <laughs> I am a C. I am a C H. I am a C H R I S T I N. Keep going. And I have C H R I S T I N. H A R T. And I will L I V. Keep going. I don't know that. Live eternally. L I V E T R N L O Y. I am a C. I am a C H. 
That was the HRST. Oh, man. Well, Lord, forgive me for this podcast. I know, dude. Me too. <laughs> this is the thing. Judgment Day, I'll be like, hey. He's like, I listen to every episode. I don't like it. <laughs> 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 no, he didn't listen to every episode. <laughs> he's, 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 like, <laughs> he's like, the one time I tuned out to the world <laughs> and had let it problems happen is when you guys were recording. I just didn't listen to anybody. <laughs> he's like, you know, Purgatory, right? Well, that was Craig's. <laughs> he's probably, <laughs> probably laughing at us. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Kellen Hall, Holly Graff, Adam Kenny Art, Seth Loop, Cassie Spencer, Amanda Keating, Shekinah Sarver, Jared Skelly, Ben Illman, Jamie Roberts, Jamie Kenny, Apollo Doodle, Jackson Siduk, Sasha Carey Lynn, Thomas Savage, Oak, Councilman Anthony Wright, Cameron Stratton, Katri Hoban, Jackie Van Hoof, uh, Dan Coot Snyder, actually Coot Snydered, Travis Kenny, or <laughs> Travis Kenny, and Homer, figure it out. Uh, everyone have a great week. Love you. See ya. Toodles. Come get Hello. some soup. Opposite of toodles? <laughs> Hello.